I want to talk about 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 7. Many people um, are confused about this verse, and they say that this is the church or this Holy Spirit that's being taken out of the way. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that the, if you just take the English in the King James uh, literally, and all, I believe all the other translations, um, the NASB, uh, it says he, okay, in all the different translations, it says he. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is that if you say it's the church, that's a plural. Okay, so that's why many Christians believe that's the Holy Spirit that's taken out of the way. But what I propose to you is this is talking about the Antichrist or the son of perdition in the context of this scripture. And it's very simple to understand this because all you need to do is just read the context. When you say something like he, that means whoever this guy is I'm talking about in the previous uh, verses, right? If I'm talking to you and I say something like, um, you know, Barack Obama is the president of the United States. He just now got reinaugurated. Okay, when I just said he, you know, he just now got reinaugurated. What I'm saying is that Barack Obama. I don't have to name him. That's why we use the word he. Okay, so now this is the context. Verse three is talking about the man of sin, the son of perdition. Okay. And then it goes on into detail explaining what he does. You know, he, he claims to be God. Uh, and then he says, you know, I was, you know, told you these things, right, already. And, and then now it says, now you know what withholdeth. Now that's more of a mystery is what withholdeth. But the thing is, people are saying um, that the withholder is the same as the person that's taken out of the way, Okay. But let's, it says, what withholdeth, okay? It's not he, who withholdeth, but what, okay? That he might be revealed in his time. When it says he might re be revealed in his time, it's talking about the man of sin, the son of perdition that was discussed starting at verse 3, okay? And this is saying that this Christ will not return, the gathering will not happen until after this happens, okay? So... Um, in verse 6 says, you know, that what withhold that he might be revealed in his time. So we know that this he is the son of perdition from the previous verses. So then it talks about one, two he's, the word two he is in here. It says, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Now, I'm not answering the question as the first let, Okay. But I think if you look at the Greek, you're going to find out that this is not exactly how it shows. But I'm sticking to the English. I can't answer that question right now from the context he now letteth. It doesn't say. But I think that it's pretty obvious that when it says he be taken out of the way, it's talking about the Antichrist because it says he might be revealed here, okay, and he be taken out of the way. We know that those are two different people, okay. Um, so then you go into the next verse, and it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed. Now, what I'm seeing is that the timing of this is um, talking about a period of time where God is allowing the mystery of iniquity work. See this, verse 7? And it's until the time is ready for him to be taken out of the way, the Antichrist be taken away. Once that happens, that time expires. Then they're gonna. This is gonna be revealed. The wicked will be revealed, and then Jesus will destroy him. And he's talking about the Antichrist because he talks about his power, signs, and lying wonders. It's a little bit confusing because I think it's just the translation to English is kind of rough, um, and you'd have to kind of study the Greek. Um, but that's just what I think of this, and I think it's very solid because of the fact that we have this narrative that talks about an individual person. So when it's using the word he, I think in most cases you can assume that it's talking about the Antichrist. Now, the thing is, like I told you at the beginning of the video, why would it say he if it's talking about the church? So anybody that tells you this is talking about the church, they're not really following the logic of this, at least the English of it, okay?